In the second season of the Star series, Queen Elizabeth I is getting to know the House of Valois while enjoying a leisurely afternoon in the French countryside. Queen Catherine, who toes the line between being convincing and pushy, is eager to expand her authority in Europe and is making deals and whispering in Mini Driver's ear. The historical drama is still captivating viewers more than halfway through its second season because of its exceptional performances by a very skilled main cast. In the second part, the widening divide between Catholics and Protestants is the main focus, and Morton's character is still as shrewd as ever as she pursues her political goals of controlling France. Additionally, viewers may find it difficult to follow the plethora of romances that have emerged in the most recent episodes, but Queen Catherine is well aware of them all. Given that the plot of the Serpent Queen is heavily dependent on the interactions between different characters, the call sheet is somewhat lengthy. Although we have always considered Good Will Hunting, Gross Point Blank, and Will and Grey Star Ashley Driver to be a queen, her casting as the renowned Queen Elizabeth I in the Serpent Queen's second season elevated things to a whole new level. When Driver spoke with Carly Lane of Collider in July about season two of the Star series, she disclosed how swiftly she signed on for her role as a princess. Now that her son Charles IX has reached adulthood, Catherine de' Medici has the title of Queen Regent of France. As a result of the Valois children's personal problems, new, enigmatic prophet named Edith attracts a devoted following that vows to overthrow the established ecclesiastical hierarchy, causing unrest throughout the nation. The split court, sensing the tension building, turns to their own plans for self-serving gain. While the guises carry out sacrilegious deeds, the Bourbons, seeking personal advantage, turn to a well-known foreign ruler, Queen Elizabeth I of England. Catherine tries to hold on to her position of authority as France descends into political and ecclesiastical unrest, but the Serpent Queen will stop at nothing to take back control.